Hi, I'm at the Biocomposites group in Drayton Valley. I'm so excited to be here. And I'd like to introduce you to Dan Madlung. He is president and CEO of what's going on here, and he's going to tell you a little bit about it. Hi, Dan. Hi, welcome to Biocomposites group. Um, <laughs> this is the, uh, the hemp plant. Um, right now in Alberta, we're the largest jurisdiction in uh, North America. Uh, we grow 32,000 acres of this. And, and that continues to get more. Uh, right now we cut the top off and this is, um, this is your, for your seeds and cereals and oils. And, uh, and then the rest of this is just wasted in the field right now. So there's no use for this in Alberta and that's where biocomposites comes in. Um, at the, right here, uh, you'll see this uh, fiber on the outside of the stem and then the in, inner core, which is uh, the herd or shive. Um, this here fiber is what we utilize. It's the most valuable part of the stem, and, uh, and it's very strong and lightweight. Uh, there's about four to one ratio of herd to fiber. So let's talk about uh, what, what happens to that. In order to separate those, there's a process called decortication. Uh, decortication will separate those fibers into hemp fibers and, uh, and, and herd or shive. So, so when we take uh, uh, <coughs> the hemp fibers here, we, we're going to walk over here. Um, this is a bale of hemp right here. This is from a bale of hemp. Uh, this was decorticated in Vagerville uh, at the government facility there. Uh, we take that and we, through a process of uh, needle punching, we make this mat. So this mat here is, um, this particular mat is 300 grams per square meter. It has a 100% biodegradable, um, what we call scrim. And it's, uh, and this can be used for erosion control or, or um, turf products or molding. So let's just talk about molding. Um, over here you can see um, the very basics of uh, molding. This is just a has 100% 100% um, hemp with a uh, normal fiberglass resin, and and it's just a, a tray as you can see. We've added a little bit of herd in there just for designs to show you can put designs in it. But this is very lightweight and very strong. It's uh, stronger than fiberglass and and less weight than fiberglass, and it's less expensive. Um, you can start uh, making more detailed designs like this canoe paddle. Some young entrepreneur uh, with a, uh, just did some vacuum uh, pressing and designed and built this. Uh, he plans on getting into business utilizing uh, our mats that we make here at Biocomposites Group and uh, being the only facility that doing this in North America it's a great advantage for young entrepreneurs to be able to do that here. Mm -hmm. um, we've taken this um, uh, and started getting in the automotive business. I'm going to scan over here. Um, you'll see these panels here. This is the first uh, automotive panel in made in North America out of hemp products. This is going in a General Motors car. Uh, you can take that one step further and, um, and start layering this. So these are two thin layers of hemp product with a uh, kind of a paper waffle. It's just very light paper cardboard. And so this here is super lightweight and super strong. And this will be uh, used in load floors on, in uh, North American automobiles. Uh, this is under development, but very close to being commercialized. You, you can start getting more complex and using a 100% hemp waffle with layers of hemp. And um, this is super strong and super lightweight. And so you're um, I mean, you can take this, you can use your imagination. This can be used to build airplanes or build automobiles or, or flooring or whatever you want to do. I figured countertop when I picked that piece up. <laughs> so, so then we can go over um, uh, the herd itself. Uh, this is a company called Just Biofiber, and they will be producing that this, this summer. So this is a, um, this block has a lot of good properties. Um, thermal, it's good insulation, good sound insulation. And uh, one of the 
most important things or one of the high value things is that this sequesters five times more CO2 than any uh, in a, a mature forest would. Um, Both while it's growing and as long as the structure stands, correct? That's right, yeah, yes. exactly. So yes, it's good so it cleans environment. the environment forever. Yeah. Yeah, I actually picked up that brick. It's not nearly as heavy as you'd expect. Yeah. That one either. Yeah.